How are you folks? Ryan Gavin Pepper and Matt Cubbon across a really disturbing video today. There's an immigrant, a Jamaican immigrant in Ireland, that's now actively encouraging immigrants to carry knives and weapons. Less than six months after three innocent little school children and a teacher got stabbed by an immigrant in Parnell Street, on the, uh, Parnell Square, on the streets of Dublin. We have a Jamaican immigrant encouraging other immigrants to carry knives and weapons. Every migrant out there is supposed to carry a weapon, supposed to carry something to defend themselves. Don't, don't listen to these people. They don't know what life is. They don't know, they don't even know who they are. You know, they don't even know how to protect their own fucking country. You know what I mean? The cheek of these people. The cheek of the authorities in this country. The cheek of them. Don't make sure they don't take nothing from you. You know, if you're, if you're going out with your friend, make sure you strap up. Yeah, don't be afraid to strap up. This man needs to be departed immediately. An account closure is not good enough. He's in photographs with the Minister for Housing, Dara O'Brien. Right? This man is not new in the account. He's on TikTok a long time. And the government have failed to act because maybe they might hurt people of a different um, ethnic group's feelings. Well, nobody in Ireland wants dangerous individuals carrying knives. We don't need knife crime in Ireland. Get this man out of our country. Any minister, anybody in the door that supports this man staying in the country is actively putting Irish citizens in grave danger. I have six children. I don't want people like this in my country. If they were Irish, I'd want them in jail. If they're foreign, I want them deported. I don't want them arrested and brought to prison. I want them arrested, put on a plane and get out of your country. End of. So, regarding immigration in Ireland, Ireland has no deportation unit. Like in America, they've got ICE. When a foreign criminal commits a crime and he serves a sentence, if he serves a sentence, he goes home, um, paid for by the taxpayer you and instead of uh, the Gardaí or a armed unit de forcibly deporting him out of the country he gets a letter in the, post, in the post in the mail asking him to self deport this is a matter of fact and we know that over 90% of migrants do not self deport and they're okay. unvetted men staying here illegal immigrants refugees staying in this hotel so I'm a toilet to record there's any refugees staying in this hotel because it's booked out for the next two months. So they're Fully for the next two months? Yes, stop I find that hard to believe. I find that hard to believe. In Ireland, there are plans for a right to housing bill to be put before the people in the form of a referendum. It says, part two, the state in particular recognizes the common good, there's that phrase again, as including the right to secure affordable dignified housing appropriate to need for all the residents of Ireland, not citizens, but residents, and shall guarantee this right through its laws, policies, and the prioritization of resources, sounds like redistribution of wealth, the state, accordingly, shall delimit the right of private property where it is necessary to ensure the common good and to vindicate the said right to housing for all residents. When a politician is elected into Dáil Éireann, he receives a mandate, not a crown. He is meant to serve us, not rule over us. And I don't know about you, but in my view this government have ruled over us and served themselves. And over the last number of years, their policies have suffocated our freedom and killed our people. In fact, the only thing this government has successfully achieved in creating is social unrest. It occurred at one of the many protests going on around the country against the forced settlement of unvetted, mostly young male migrants into various communities. This one in Coolock a working-class suburb of Dublin, where the government, as usual, are seeking to install up to 500 men in an old, disused paint factory, very much against the will of the people who live in that area. Do you think, honestly, if you were Sinn Féin supporter, that this is going to go any differently with these people in charge? It's going to be the exact same as what we're currently seeing. I want you to understand, and I think people are starting to understand slowly but surely, that these people are all together when it comes to these things. These people in the doll are all together, in unison.
They're not there for you, they're not there for me. They're there for themselves, and they're there for pushing forward whatever sort of nonsense it is that they want to push, and whoever's telling them to push those nonsense. He goes into the Dalkin House to look after people who do. That's illegal immigrants. Yeah, it's hard enough to get a fucking appointment for an Irish person anywhere. There it is. Twice a week a doctor goes into that centre up there. Right. There is. Free security courses, everything to get up there. Fed three times a day, electricity, heat and everything. Will we fucking walk your bollocks off and get fucking raped with the fucking likes of fucking news by your taxpayers money? It is, that's what it is. A fucking sham yard! I won't go home, tell me to go away, you fucking idiot. Simon Harris will break a few records today. A man who took his seat at the 15th count, a member of a political party that came third in the last general election, will become T shirt today. Out there on a yes vote, that's what you are. Out there on a yes vote trying to get the country, get the money out of the constitution. That's what you are. Fucking sham! Your mother would be fucking disappointed with you with that one, she would. And now that for a fucking fact. And now that for a fact. She wouldn't like to be took out of the constitution anyway, would she? No. Like can you ever fucking own mothers? Are you saying that we welcome everybody in only to sleep for years on hotel floors? Because that's what you're saying over there. And that's how reckless your government is. So how dare you? what I have said to you. I asked you very direct questions. We have a housing crisis here. We have a situation that is at an unsustainable level. It would be lovely to be able to give everybody a house and you, you've said that yourself, but are you suggesting that we can do no. that? Who is she to you? Who is she to you and what they're saying? Who was he to you, Matt? She was just a detective. Oh, she was just a detective, so you want your follow that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Last weekend, a news talk journalist called Paul Connolly put on a disguise and carried an Irish flag that said refugees welcome on it and went to a protest with the intention of eliciting a violent reaction for headlines. Hey! What's going on? Hey, what's up? What are you doing here? Is that drugs there? Hold on a minute, what the fuck is that? Are you doing drugs here? Get the fuck! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! Now! Out! Go! Up! Out! 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 They hate justice. They spit on the Constitution. They spit on it. They spit on the law. They spit on free speech. They spit on independent journalism. I work for the government. That's 85 to 87. Sword Road, where they're meant to be putting my mail, my old family migrants. I don't think they'll be family, mate. You go and fuck yourself. Ring the police. Look, they're doing all this stuff for fucking uh, migrants. You say they're going to be families, the are their bollocks. They're going to be grown men, rapists, pedophiles, what have you. Do you feel fucking great? You're working for the Irish government, filling this full of pedophiles. You fucking are. What's going in here? Listen, what's going in here? You do know what's going in here. This company work for the government to do. This is going to be full of pedophiles and what have you. And we watch the willingness, bollocks. Shame on you two lads, you fucking wankers. Very briefly, I see here that the department is projecting an average of 13,000 to 16,000 new arrivals in the next four years. Is that 13,000 to 16,000 each year or in total overall? Just, just briefly on, on that point. The average over the last two years has been 13,000 per year, so it would be 13 to 16,000 per year. Grant. Uh and also on that point, Minister O'Gorman, as, as you know, in 2021, you published tweets in eight different languages, such as Arabic, Georgian and Albanian, offering own door accommodation and various other benefits to asylum seekers. And I've interviewed asylum seekers who said on camera that they came to Ireland from the UK specifically to avail of opportunities that Justice Minister Helen McEntee had offered. I came from uh, England. I live in England around 15 years. 
I work there uh, in black uh, black market. But when I when I hear about uh, Ireland and I hear about the justice minister in in, in Ireland, uh, the open uh, for everyone for to get uh, a visa uh, for asylum seeker. Uh, and I think it's, it's a good country to to get a visa from here. Oh, Morris, yeah. Ah, there's no people there, like. Ah, Morris, what? Still, 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 stop the parallel. Just clear the little act like that, yes. Now, yes, the whole, all set out, it's very little. It's fucking crouches. All these hands before, and these crouches. Now, yeah. You're not wanted around there, look at. Now, exactly, there you go. And now, this guy's do. Now, this guy's fuck. In the, as we have it now in Ireland, the three main parties, they're all Euro loyalists, European Unionists, they all believe in Brussels control. Get the fuck out of here, you dirty bastard, you! There's fucking kids on this road! I'm the fucking dump, you dirty bastard, you! You dirty cunt, you! Fuck off! There's kids around here, you dirty bastard, you! That's what Charlotte from Ireland Against Fascism does. She doxes people. She runs hate campaigns against them. Campaigns to get people sacked from their jobs, their livelihoods. She glorifies and celebrates violence. I have nearly a thousand signatures to say no to the SPHE. Do you, do you think the SPHE curriculum is good for our children? Are you recording me? Of course I'm recording you. Why? Because I want to show people exactly what Sinn Féin are. Traitors, the lottiest traitors. Mary Lou MacDonald is the biggest traitor to hit Dublin. <laughs> Yes, just out of the goodness of their hearts, the government wants constitutional inclusion for those in durable relationships. Yet a durable relationship is not a defined legal term in Irish law. However, it is a defined term in EU immigration law regarding family reunification, which Minister Roderick O'Gorman knows very well with his Masters in EU law. What's a fee and fail? No, Don't come in the gate, man. Don't come in the gate. Okay. Use her off our open borders, aren't you? Yeah, use her off our the refugee welcome brigade and all that. Use her. Did the 8th of March not tell you something? That's what I think of that. See the way I put it in the vein? I voted no. Use her off our, your party is off our open borders. The referendum is it? Hold on, the referendum is different. Use her off our open you borders. You mentioned the 8th of March. Yeah, because uh, I'll, 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 I'll do what I want them when we land. I just, yeah. You're off our open borders. You're off for bringing these, mig these illegal migrants into this country, aren't you? No, What's your name? John. John what? John Stevens. And you're working for Fianna Fáil. Yeah. I'd appreciate it if you'd go off this road. I'm making a few phone calls now and I'll run you. <laughs> Right. I'm quite enticed to go along this road. It's not true, I'm, I'm asking to go off this road. Nobody goes. They're all shim fans. Actually! 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 Look, look, it's untenable. Uh, the figures that I put to the teacher out in the doll about the uh, numbers that have come in since 2018. Uh, with no documentation, absolutely none, to uh, Dublin Airport. Now, Dublin Airport is only one. It's not saying about Belfast Port and airports and coming down by car, which I have um, evidence that they're doing this, and uh, being taxied down, and also coming in Ross Lea and God knows where it is, Cork or Airport. So. Talks of him getting rid of Helen McEntee as well. People, please understand that Leo had his little gang ready before he stepped down off Ireland and stepped in to the WEF.
also the WEF welcomed him and said we would be looking forward to us working together. Of course. Now we call him Simple Simon, but he can't be that simple if they picked him to be T-Shock. And I think we're on the same wavelength. There's a lot of people coming in here looking for refuge from the, the big bad uh, mainstream media that, that are calling is far right and far this and bigots and racists and you're not. I know you aren't. I know you're not. You're none of those things. You are just a normal person worried about your country. I get that. Just keep on doing my down lads, keep the pressure on, don't take a backward step and have no fear, have no fear and that's the biggest weapon I said it to that day, their biggest weapon is fear, their biggest weapon is the truth, keep on hitting them with it and they will fall, they're gonna fall.